Link TV, connecting you to the world. Link TV is viewer supported. Watch more at linktv.org. Nigeria is in the midst of a political crisis. Sectarian violence, protests, and rebels attacking in the south. So where is President Yara Dua? Next on Global Pulse. A comparison of how broadcasters worldwide are covering the Nigerian political crisis. President Yardawa is in a hospital in Saudi Arabia, sick and seeking treatment for a heart condition, and he's been there since November 2009. Many believe this to be creating a power vacuum within Nigeria, and this matters because Nigeria is a major oil exporter to the West. As Al Jazeera English described in January, his absence caused criticism and could disrupt the balance of power. The president should have handed over power to the vice president as the constitution dictates before going on indefinite sick leave. But the constitution appears to have been ignored. If the president were to step down or die in office, the man in the black bowler hat in theory should take over. Vice President Goodluck Jonathan, but he's a Christian from Nigeria's oil-rich Niger Delta region. Many of Nigeria's 70 million Muslims would be opposed to this. Outraged Nigerians, both Muslim and Christian, took to the streets. France's TV5 reports on the protests that ensued. Protesters want to know if the president's health has improved, but they need to see it to believe it. It has been 50 days since anyone in the country has seen Umaru Yaradua. The question on everyone's mind, where is the president? The opposition has voiced their demands for a resignation or at least a temporary or acting government. If the president returns healthy, he will be confronted by the same accusations we raise against his government now. He has used his so-called recovery as an occasion to address his nation as a pretense to stay in power. And there's an ongoing rebellion in the oil-rich southern Niger Delta. President Yaradua negotiated a tenuous ceasefire before he disappeared. This ceasefire is crucial. Nigeria makes 90% of its foreign earnings from the oil and gas industry. In three years of attacks, oil profits have been down 25%. Now the power vacuum has led the rebels to withdraw from the ceasefire, as Iran's press TV describes. Militants had been abiding by the unconditional ceasefire of October 2009 negotiated by Nigeria's president, Umaru Yaradua. The Royal Dutch Shell has shut three oil flow stations following the attack on one of its pipelines in Nigeria's Niger Delta, which came shortly after Nigeria's militant group, MEND, announced the end of a ceasefire. MEND warned oil companies to stop operations because installations will be burned to the ground as nothing will be spared. The unfortunate illness of our president, there is no succession plan. There's nobody to act for him. We have no commander in chief. So really, in a way, you can't blame the militants because there is nobody to negotiate with. Finally, the president spoke in a BBC audio interview from his hospital bed. At the moment, I'm undergoing treatment. As soon as my doctors discharge me, I will return to Nigeria to resume my duties. But the president's statement didn't subdue the controversy, and his continued absence set off an uproar in the legislature, as reported by Nigeria's African Independent Television. The demand by some legislators in Nigeria's House of Representatives for President Eradua to empower the vice president to act as president led to a rowdy session on Wednesday as the lawmakers engaged in hot debate over the motion. That was the reaction that immediately trailed the motion, urging President Yaradua to, within two weeks, transmit a letter to the National Assembly, empowering his deputy to act in his absence. Finally, Vice President Goodluck Jonathan has been officially empowered to act in the president's stead. But the struggle goes on as the legality of this appointment could be challenged. So should President Yaradua resign? Tell us what you think. Go to our website at linktv.org slash globalpulse and leave us a comment. For Global Pulse, I'm Erin Coker. Link TV, connecting you to the world. Link TV is viewer supported.
Watch more at linktv.org.